Hey guys, this is going to be my third and final video on this channel for today. And this is, um, this is another gun. Like I said, there's going to be two gun videos today. Um, if you guys previously watched my other channel um, before the account troubles, uh, you would know this gun, or at least an earlier version of it. And I think you're going to like the upgrades that I made last night, so... Without further ado, here is my recon shotgun. I obviously redid the grip and the bars. Um, I upgraded the internals, I'll show you that later. No, I did not use an orange mod work kit, but yes, I am hitting close to their ranges, if not better. I've heard mixed stories about their ranges. I've heard some people say, oh my god, it gets 80 feet, and I've heard a lot of people say it gets anywhere from 40 to 60 feet and the darts go crazy. Um, most of the darts out of this actually go straight with stock stream ends, which is really weird, but whatever. Um, this is also my recon. Um, this is the only recon that I know of, and I know for a fact that it was the first to have an SSPB in the handle. Um, I mentioned the concept saying that I believed it would fit on the NIC, and people told me that I should totally do it if it fit then. So, uh, this was kind of the proof of concept showing that yes, it did in fact fit, and yeah. I posted this in the modifications and paint jobs thread on Nerf Rev and Nerf Revolution when it was an earlier version, and people seemed to generally like it a lot, and they thought the SSPB was a neat and cool idea. This is the also, this is also the one that has half clear half opaque. Um, okay, next I will talk about the grip. The grip is the old grip that I had, which was the top slide to an eliminator, but uh, I replaced the coat hangers because they were really ugly, and I didn't like the hot glue. Now that I added uh, or I did more work on the internals, I figured the hot glue might break at some point, and hangers would like, stab me, and that wouldn't be cool. So I replaced it all with mechanical fascinating, uh, fascinating, fastening, and these are the, I like to reuse stuff in a mod, I don't like much going to waste, so I took the bars off the old stock of this recon, because I'm using a different stock, and I cut off the bars, and that's what these are, and then these little black pieces that are like nubs, and they have a really long silver screw in them, are from a long shot bipod because I have a bunch of the bipod legs left from long shots and it's actually the screws taken out and put in the reverse side so it would look more like a nub and it just fits better generally and that's how it is on bolted to the recon handle and the screws stop just short enough that it doesn't create any friction on the when the slide is sliding going from there um, I have two industrial screws um, there's holes drilled in this in the recon bars. That's how the screws are attached. But um, there's two industrial screws going through this one, holding them. They're only like half uh, half inch or three quarter inch long. They're not that big, and they're only like eighth inch diameter, I think. But they fit really nicely in there. And then if you can see, if I can get a view of it inside the grip, there's also a there a little mound right there of hot glue uh, over each of the screws just to make sure that stays in there. Um, I didn't put any glue on these so I can take one of them off when I need to access the internals, but this didn't need to be opened at all because it's a solid piece and can just be slid forward whenever uh, I take out these so I can access the internals. Um, next I put a big felt pad right there so it would keep this stabilized and even because it was starting to tilt up since I have the new bars and everything and then I put one on the front to cover the hole and these are really helpful felt pads and then there's two on each side underneath this foam grip you're seeing to space it um, to fit along the bars to like the same height almost and then the foam grip is some insulation that is cut and then like bent around it in shape and if you can see there are kind of contours and it is kind of bent to fit it so it does fit your hand rather nicely I have medium sized hands I'd say and the grip fits very well it may be even a little big 
but if it's too big, I can hold it like this as well, putting one finger in front, which spaces them out evenly. But for me, I can do it just like this, too. It's fine. And so it's very comfortable, too, because you can really like, squeeze your hand into it and be comfortable. So moving on to the internals, um, I replaced the spring with a rapid-fire shotgun spring. I added a catch spring just to make sure that this catch would be very solid. Uh, I reinforced the SSPB more inside there with some more hot glue. Just It didn't need it all. I mean, it hasn't even moved the slightest bit or given any indication of ever moving. But I just felt, why not? And then inside the plunger, I increased the seal. And when I was pushing on it, it had almost like a perfect seal. Like I could like pull back on the plunger with my finger over it and let go and it'd slam back forward. And then I used another one of my really helpful big felt pads and I trimmed the edges of it and shoved it down in the plunger for padding. And that is working really well for the padding. Um, the air restrictors are completely drilled out, like it's a hollow tube. Um, one mistake I did make is when I place these bars, they, um, this one should be further forward on this grip because it doesn't allow the breech to open all of the way. I'll show you what I mean. Um, you can see in there, the clip just kind of slips around it and won't go in. It's crooked, as you can see, and it won't go in all the way when I have the breech open. Deprime this, but when I have the breech closed, I can easily just pop a clip in and I can pull it out. Sorry, if, uh, it looks like I'm struggling with that. I'm actually, I have these cuts on my hands from uh, a rough tackle game of football um, that went to the cement, so whatever. Uh, yeah, so I have those cuts on my hands that are making things kind of difficult. Um, I believe I have covered all. Um, I may eventually move these bars further back to fix that problem with the breach, but right now it really doesn't bother me. Um, the clips can still be removed when the breach is open, they just can't be put in. The stock I use this with is my reinforced Praxis stock. I really like the stock, it fits this very well and it's solid now. So, back up. <sighs> Try not to move too much. This is what the entire gun looks like. And the SSPV has about a three inch barrel. Um, I have a bucket of darts here. I'm just gonna randomly grab four streamlines for the uh, recon. <laughs> and slap those in there. And then a another streamline, I guess, for the SSPV. The SSPB is just coupler, that's the only mod. It's just meant to be a kind of backup shot. Um, okay, so I'm going to fire against that pillow over there, um, and then I'll comment on ranges. I'll fire the SSPB first, and now the recon shotgun four times. Okay, um, as you can see, it's got quite a lot of power. The SSPB, um, I don't know if mine's really weak for some reason or what, but um, mine hits like 35 to 40 feet. And I have had SSPBs that I've just slapped a coupler on. In fact, I have one in my room that hits like 50 feet. It's ridiculous. Um, with no other mods, I mean, I just slapped a coupler on it. Um, so it's a little disappointing that this one's kind of weak, but it's meant to be backup shot and it serves its purpose. Um, the Recon Shotgun hits anywhere from 50 to 65 feet consistently. Usually when I'm shooting a six round clip they're all around the 60 mark um, and the darts fly relatively straight out of I took 20 test shots outside yesterday and there was a little wind so that may have uh, it was side to side though it wasn't helping me at all um, but I had one dart that flew sideways so that's probably what did that but 19 out of 20 shots went perfectly straight to where I was aiming, so that's good. And they all went about 60 feet. So it's just as powerful as uh, Orange Mod Works Recon, if not more consistent. And I don't have any expensive aluminum or stainless steel parts in there. Not to mock them, I think their products are actually really great, so 
I'm not in a hate war or anything. Um, I'm going to try and end this right on 10 minutes, so see you guys.